Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the sender framework policy and how you can take advantage of this in bug bounty hunts. Um, first of all I'm going to show you a bug bounty report that I found. Um, this will open this on a new tab here guys. So this is Hacker One. this is probably the best bug bounty website you can be on. And here you see somebody got $500 for reporting this guys missing SPF flags from myshopify.com so that's how much you can get if you find this um, let me just talk a little bit about this guys I made some quick notes here and then um, I'll just tell you how this works and then we'll go about and basically check and see if some websites have this if they don't like I said you saw how much money you can get for reporting this this is a very serious um, vulnerability if you can find it it's difficult to find but it is out there. So what is the sender framework policy? Well I can tell you that it's basically a form of email authentication guys. So it's, it validates that an email was sent from an authorized mail server. So every single website out there should really have an SPF record guys. Um, like I say every website should have this. And um, This is basically a specially formatted version of a standard DNS text record it's included in an organization's DNS database guys and um, you know it's just s essential to have if a domain doesn't have this an attacker can send a spoofed email guys from that domain so if well in this case here we see from this report myshopify.com didn't have SPF an SPF record so somebody could have sent an email that seem to originate from myshopify.com so you can imagine if you sent that to somebody who was a member of myshopify.com and you said to them here click on this link to reset your password they click on the link they give you all their credentials you've now hijacked their hijacked them so that's just one of the ways that you can take advantage of this and if you do find this you should report this straight away guys you will be paid quite well like I say, every website should have this record. Um, it's designed to supplement SMTP because SMTP doesn't include any authentication mechanisms itself. So um, how would you check this, guys? Right Now, this is the website I use. I did include this one, but the reason I don't like this one is they have a certain amount, a limit on what you can look up, whereas with this one, they don't. So let's open this in a new tab, guys. Here we go. And how you would look it up, let's look it up for Shopify.com. You put the SPF first, Shopify.com, and we we'll press enter here, guys. And here you see the record here, right? So there you go. For Shopify.com, we find it. Let's try my Shopify.com here, guys. We're still on SPF records. Just go back here. And we do see that they did update this. Now, what this bug bounty hunter found was that when he when he did this simple search, guys, it wasn't there. And he made a quick report. And as you can see, Shopify do comment here. Thanks for this report. We've deployed a fix for this issue. We'd like to reward a $500 bounty for your report. So there you go, guys. They did put the that's the first website. That's the guy who found this. Wrote, I just checked SPF records. This was a very simple, um, just probably the easiest $500 this guy has ever made, guys. Um, for the myshopify.com domain, there are none effectively allowing for spam to originate from that domain. You can validate by testing yourself. He provides the link that I provided you. And there you go. SPF records are correctly set for shopify.com, so I guess myshopify was overlooked. And it was overlooked, guys, and um, there you see the bounty he collected. So this is just something that you should always look look up um, when you're doing a bug bounty hunt. So thanks for watching guys. Um, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.